Welcome to Look Local. I'm Karen Adams. This is the place where we celebrate the best and the brightest, showcasing businesses in North Florida and in South Georgia. We do that by reminding you if you're looking for something to do or for someone to help, it is always better to look local. This week, we'll be focusing on Jacksonville Country Day School, one of the premier elementary schools in North Florida. You'll find out what the school has to offer and why it offers one-of-a-kind educational experience. Also, 904thin.com, helping you to lose weight and get healthy at the same time. Today I'm with Pat Walker, who is the head of school of Jacksonville Country Day School, as well as Ian Nyquist, who is the communications director. Thank you both for being here today. Thank you for having us. I love Jacksonville Country Day School. I'm a big fan of it. So tell people at home what you guys have to offer and what makes it different, especially for parents looking for premier education um, for the grades that you guys have. Absolutely. Well, we are a pre-K three through six grade school. Uh -huh. So we focus on elementary students and we have a very challenging program both academically and challenging in lots of ways. Mm -hmm. We believe that children, we have to service all of what they are, mm -hmm. their bodies, their minds, everything. So our program is enriched to do all of those things, mm -hmm. not just the academic piece. So while it's very rigorous in that way, it's challenging as well. So we challenge them to get up and speak in front of people, to mm -hmm. take up a new instrument that they may not. We're one of the few elementary schools that offers bands starting at third grade. Mm -hmm. So we challenge children to do things that they wouldn't often do unless they're given those opportunities. All right. And Ian, I know for one that there's a lot of parents that come to you for, for questions about what the school has to offer as well. And it's just a, a plethora of, of information that you're, you're able to provide. Yeah, I think we provide an environment where it's cool to learn. Um, for education is an important thing. Um, we also provide, as Pat mentioned, a rich array of um, value-added uh, programs, such as our daily PE. Um, mm -hmm. We teach swimming mm -hmm. um, in, in the spring and also in the fall. We have six weeks um, at each of those times where the kids learn to swim. So parents don't, for instance, have to take their kids for additional swimming lessons. Um, we have uh, four different team sports we offer mm -hmm. uh, at the elementary level, flag football, soccer, basketball, and girls volleyball, mm -hmm. karate, dance, um, swim, swim, mm -hmm. and, and we have a beautiful pool and beautiful campus. Um, Let's get into some of the, the, the pictures I want to show. And people are now seeing, the viewers at home are seeing the campus and the drop-off line there as you bring your kids in to, um, in the morning and pick them up in the afternoon. This is the, uh, the elementary field. And as we can see, this is kind of your drone video here. It is. And see the, the, um, the swimming pool. It's a great facility wonderful out there. It is, and it's mm -hmm. safe. You saw the gates mm -hmm. close behind her. It's safe. We are completely fenced, so it's safe for children, but it's a warm, receptive place. You could see us greeting the students as they mm -hmm. come in the morning. It's, it's a place where we get to know every child, and they feel known. Mm -hmm. More importantly, they feel loved there, and that's yeah. one of the hallmarks of what we are. The nice thing about the school is it is not so big that you feel like your child is getting the proper attention at all times, and you get to know um, the teachers very well there. Your child is not just a number at your school, wouldn't you say? Absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. And you, you can see there, those were the older children, sixth graders. We're one of the only programs that provides an opportunity for sixth graders to say. So as they're young adolescents, before they're leaving for middle school environments, mm -hmm. they get an extra year of leadership there. Yeah, and that's important um, because absolutely. a lot of times, the, Middle school is, is six, you know, through eight, as we know. This gives them one more year of maturity before they have to, to go off into that right. direction. I did see, look, I love this, this pool shot. <laughs> this is for all ages. I did see a shot of the lunches, and yes. that was, it looked so healthy. Explain to us in a little bit about the cafeteria and the quality of, of the lunches, because that's another thing. And there's the cafeteria shot right there. Oh, good. Uh, but a little bit about how healthy the food is. Absolutely. Well, 
that's part of our mission, mm -hmm. a healthy and productive lifetime for these children. Mm -hmm. We know that we can teach them a lot, they can do a lot, but if they're not healthy, it's not gonna help them. Mm -hmm. So we have a commitment to our children's well-being and health, and that includes, of course, healthy lunches. So we have a full service cafeteria, they have choices every day of healthy foods, they can also bring lunch if they want to, but it's a commitment that goes just beyond, beyond just the lunch program, mm -hmm. and as you mentioned, the pool, but we have daily PE. Mm -hmm. We think it's critical for children to be out, to be moving. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about, you know, the theory of doing daily PE, Ian. Is that just something that, uh, that gives the kids just, you know, an extra, you know, outlet so that they can direct their energies in the classroom? Studies have actually shown that daily PE improves academic performance. So it's um, something that a lot of schools don't have anymore. They've cut back on their um, their PE program. So at JCDS, we believe that it's, it's critical that they have that time um, to learn to be healthy in their daily life. Uh, mm -hmm. And also they learn, you know, to swim, as we mentioned, but also things as basic as ball handling skills and, um, you know, and, and how to be good sports and be good teammates. Um, mm -hmm. And they also have that social interaction with each other and blow off a little steam because the, the academics are very rigorous. So, you know, it gives them an opportunity to, to let their brains rest and, and let their bodies be active. Yeah, just to kind of recharge their batteries out of the classroom. Right. One of the things that Jacksonville Country Day School offers that I want to make sure I tell everybody at home because I am so proud of this that you have, um, but they offer Spanish as part of the regular curriculum. So, like, my daughter goes to the school. We love it. We couldn't be happier there. But my daughter is, is almost speaking Spanish fluently, and this is not an extracurricular. I mean, this is built in to uh, once a it's week. It's built into the program. Wow. Yes, three times in a week for the youngest students. We get lots of exposure for them, and then as they age, they can do longer segments, so they go to two times a week. Mm -hmm. But we get great reports from the schools that they send to after they graduate that these children are almost fluent, particularly if they've put time into it, mm -hmm. and do very well in Spanish, as we know that's the growing need for us as certainly this area of the country oh, but as a country in general the need to speak another language and particularly Spanish we concentrate on that so, so we have two native speakers mm -hmm. our two teachers are both native speakers I and know I love them yes. uh, what are their names again uh, Miss Leonard and uh, Estrella, uh, help me, thank you, yes, Tabata. Yes, because my daughter's always Senora. like, Senora, Senora Leonard, Senora Leonard, and it's wonderful because it's a mother, daughter, and like you say, they're from, they're not from this country originally, right. so they really can maybe teach that language, and you know, they say the school is as good as the teacher teaching the class. Yes. They are wonderful. We couldn't be any happier with them. Um, let's, let's take a quick break, and when we come back, we'll talk a little bit more about the school and maybe what financial options are in place for parents who may need a little bit of financial help to go to the school. Plus, if you're looking for a new job, Amazon will be offering jobs on the spot next week starting on the 17th. The event will take place at the Prime Osborne Convention Center. Hundreds of jobs will be offered. If you're interested in applying, you can head out to the Convention Center or you can log on to the web address on your screen. We'll be right back.